another episode of the amazing misadventures of Mr. Rugby, he wins! In today's episode, the mighty Quinn is involved in a shorty rip-off of the television show 24, hour 1, 1 a.m. <laughs> hour 2, 2 a.m. Possible. Hour 3. 3 a.m. Oh dear, this is getting very boring. To cut a long story short, our 4 and 5 involved more snoring. In our 6, the mighty Quinn snuck off down to the kitchen for an early morning snack. In our 7, there was more snoring. And in our 8, the mighty Quinn had to pee. There. Hour 9. 9 a.m. <laughs> Morning, dear. I trust you slept well. Dear? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, I suppose she's gone down to the kitchen to whip me up a cooked breakfast. Fantastic. <coughs> dear? The phone's ringing. Dear? Eagerly at the phone. It's ringing. Oh, don't bother. I'll get it. Hello? Is that Keith Quinn? Mix, did you, dork? You know it's me. No, it's not Mary Mix, did it? It's, um, uh, Mr. X. And I've kidnapped your wife. Don't be stupid, Murray. She's in the kitchen making me breakfast. Goodbye. Kidnap my wife. Gah, it's really flipped out this time. Anyhow, can't be long before breakfast. <laughs> Hour 10. 10 a.m. Hmm. Breakfast is taking a while. Must be a big one. <laughs> Hour 11. 11 a.m. Hmm. Maybe she's uh, whipping up more of a brunch. Hour 12. 12 noon. This is getting ridiculous. A man can't wait in bed all day for food. <laughs> oh, look, Bexted, would you stop bloody ringing? Keith, listen to me. It's Mr. X, and I really, honestly, truly have kidnapped your wife. Bexted, if I go into the kitchen and find her making me, um, uh, lunch, then I'm going to be very annoyed. <laughs> ah, the kitchen. Here's where I'll find my wife. Oh, no! I'm talking to myself out loud again. Oh, well. Off to the kitchen, then. Uh... Oh, no! My wife's been kidnapped! Who could have done such a thing? Not now, Murray! Oh, jeez. Who the hell could have kidnapped my wife? I think, Quinn. Think, 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 think. Oh, for God's sake, Murray! My wife's been kidnapped! What the hell do you want? We have... Your wife. Well, give her back. She's supposed to be making me lunch. We're not going to give her back unless you take out the president. George Bush. Let me finish. Take out the president of the NZRFU. David Rutherford? Why? Because he deserves it. After bloody losing the World Bloody Cup tie hosting, oh, I could have been commentating on World Cup matches. I could have said things like Martin Lisbon. Oh, shut up, Maxted, you fool. It's Mr. X. Look, Maxted, Mr. X. if getting lunch, I mean, my wife back, means that I have to take out Rutherford, I will. Oh, bloody Christ. Hey, oh, Nisbo, he said he's going to do it. Oh, oh, crap, I mean, uh, Mr. N. Hour 13, 1 p.m. So, um, how's the fish, David? Hmm. Huh. Oh, good. The independent caterers, don't you know? Hmm. I uh, trust the restaurant is uh, clean enough? Right. <clears throat> um, can I get you another Heineken? Uh, no, thanks. One's plenty. Oh, right, of course. Hmm. Will the mighty Quinn get his wife back? Will David Rutherford enjoy the movie and dancing plan for the rest of the evening? And will you stick around for the next 11 hours? Guess not. So you'd better tune in next time for another gripping episode in the life of Mr. Rugby, Keith Quinn. Like the mighty Quinn.